want everyone to recognize that this is the issue. The issue is that American teachers can do this. The kids get pipelined, they drop out, they end up in sex trafficking, but then in addition to that, the Child Protective Services will walk into your home or perhaps in your hospital where you just delivered your baby and say you can no longer be a parent. And so that part, uh, it, to learn more about what I'm talking about as we believe is a contribution to the missing children, our website is thehittingstopshere.com. Now, I would like to invite my friend Carla Johnson to come up. She's going to tell you, and her website is www.justice for families.us. We have material on the table up here and it has our website. But I would like, Carla, come on up here. Um, we're going to talk about the other end, uh, the home end, CPS end. And uh, we'll take a few minutes and I'll, I have pictures of the key players who can support bringing that travesty or U.S. social ill to the end. So Carla, come on. My name is Carla Johnson. I'm here as an advocate uh, with my daughter and as a victim of government-funded kidnapping of three of my grandchildren. Most people think that Child Protective Services are the good guys. They're the ones that's going to step in and protect these children. This is a multi-billion dollar industry that is funded by our federal government. When they take a child out of a home, um, they don't have to have a reason. Um, the minute they take that child out of, the, out of a home, a uh, good home, bad home, and they place that child in out-of-home care, our federal government gives them $30,000 immediately. If the Child Protective Services says that child has special needs or they're disabled, that figure goes up between $40,000 to $150,000. That's why Child Protective Services is working with doctors to get children on psychotropic drugs. Nationally, I did some, I've been doing some research quite a bit. Uh, I did all the research for children that were placed in out-of-home care and children that were adopted between 2006 and 2011. And I did obtain these figures directly from the federal government. On an average, nationally between all 50 states, between 700,000 and 750,000 children are removed from their homes every year. The amount of children that are adopted out out of this 700 to 750,000, there's only 50 to 55,000 children that we can find that were actually adopted, that was reported to the federal government. So our question is, where are these children? Where is our government hiding these children every year? Amazingly, I did pull up reports. Um, our Arizona Department of Economic Security, the Child Protective Services, they do uh, semi-annual reports to our governors. Between 2006 and 2011, the Arizona Department of Economic Security overinflated their numbers quite significantly. And I do have reports. The amount of children that the CPS reported to our governors versus what they reported to the federal government was inflated by over 27,000 children. Um, the inflation of children that were adopted between 2006 and 2011, they inflated those numbers by more than 5,000. Every month, on average, the state collects approximately $7,000 just for housing. That doesn't include the federal money that they get for family preservation, family reunification, the court improvement grants. Um, 
and other services that these parents are dragged through. We were an innocent family. I was raised out in the country in Colorado on a farm. My grandmother told me, um, taught me all the old-fashioned rules that, you know, there was a time when a man's handshake was his word, and that was good enough back then. But now it's all about the money. Money, money, money. In January, I spoke out at the appropriation hearings at our legislators, and they gave Child Protective Services $4.4 million so they could hire 50 new social workers. In April, Governor Brewer has placed a request to allocate Child Protective Services over $70 million in the next two years. So they are gearing up to destroy the American family. And as, as Mr. Smith spoke about our constitutional rights, no one can imagine what it feels like to be in your home and to be enjoying your children and your grandchildren and your, your family. To have the police break into your home and take your grandchild when you have done nothing wrong. And they sell that child for adoption because it's money. It's money. I'm going to show them the key plays and then I'm going to tell them about our rally coming up. So you can name the key plays and picture the picture. Um, one of the persons. Governor Jan Brewer, um, we have actually written Jan Brewer for four years now. And she has not responded to any of our. Mr. Clarence Carter is the new director of the Arizona Department of Economic Security. He has not responded to our several letters over the course of the last four years. This is Maricopa County District Attorney Bill Montgomery. We filed a criminal complaint with the FBI, Arizona U.S. Attorney, and Birmingham Schill when she was in office, and Bill Montgomery. And what the detective did was call me and threaten me with arrest, the victim. Mr. Tom Horn, we all know Mr. Tom Horn because he's been in the news quite frequently in the last year or so. Um, he trains his assistant attorney generals to maliciously prosecute innocent parents and suppress exculpatory evidence that proves that the parent is innocent. He knows about the crimes because his office has allocated hundreds of thousands of dollars to continue the prosecution of parents to kidnap their children. Thank you, Carla. Um, I would like to close out by inviting everyone here to support our children being protected by U.S. federal laws. They are U.S. citizens. Our campaign is for having U.S. citizens under the age of 18 protected by their God-given rights, first of all, because the U.S. Constitution is nothing more than a protector of our God-given rights. This is not something we're getting on our knees and begging for. We're saying back off of our U.S. Constitution now. And so, let my people go. That is the second half of our title, is Arizona Operation Let My People Go. And we're talking about if you, if you consider children in this country your people, raise your hand. Okay, so your people are my people, and when we say Arizona Operation Let My People Go, we're talking about our children, and anyone under 18 years old, stop beating them, stop kidnapping them, stop doing all sorts of harm to them under the guise of discipline. American educators are protected by teacher immunity laws even when they may fatally injure a child in front of their classmates protected by teacher immunity laws under the no intention to cause harm gambit. And so that has to stop. The only 
American citizens sanctioned to take the life of a fellow American citizen are American educators when they do so with children. And we are here to be the voice for the children. We are inviting you to our rallies. We have one coming up outside of the Maricopa County Courthouse, the old courthouse at 125 West Washington. And we will be out there with signs and we will not stop reaching out to mainstream media who's being extremely irresponsible by keeping you all in the dark that right here, I'm sure most of you didn't even know that this was a state where teachers can take a wooden board, same used as old slave plantations, and strike children on their buttocks for gaining their obedience. I'm sure most of you did not know that, nor I'm sure you did not know that Arizona is the number one, this is the nation's capital state for kidnapping American children. So this has to stop, and it won't stop unless you know, and we're asking you to join us. Uh, our uh, Facebook event is called Arizona Operation Let My People Go. You can go there and learn more. Our calendar is posted there. Our 800 number has updates in case you want to come and you're not sure we're still there, we'll have updates. But this Tuesday, June 11th, 3 p.m. to 7 p.m., we will be outside of the Maricopa County Courthouse. And on Monday, June 17th, we will be outside of the Arizona State Capitol Building, again, 3 till 7, with our signs, letting people know what's going on, and we would so greatly appreciate it if everyone who loves children would participate. And I just want to thank you for allowing us to speak. Thank you. Thank you.